You're Reading My Plant by Fred Herbert, read by the author Fred Herbert. Chapter 1. That's What It Is. You know, it's really starting to get on my nerves. Every single day, without fail, I receive prank calls from that Gregory Stevens. I mean, what kind of person finds joy in wasting someone's time and energy like that? It's infuriating. I can't help but wonder why Gregory Stevens has taken such a strong interest in harassing me. Is it some twisted sense of entertainment or a personal grudge? I've tried reasoning with him, explaining the consequences of his actions, but it's like talking to a wall. And speaking of frustrations, you won't believe what else is happening. I seem to have developed an insatiable craving for walnuts. It's like I can't get enough of them. I'm constantly snacking on these little devils, cracking them open one after another. I've got bags of walnuts scattered all over my office. It's become a walnut frenzy in here. I can't help but wonder if it's stress-related. Perhaps these prank calls are getting to me more than I realize. But walnuts, out of all things, it had to be walnuts. It's both baffling and strangely amusing. Anyway, back to Gregory Stevens. As if the prank calls weren't enough, there's another mystery I'm trying to solve. Apparently his brother is supposed to be in jail, but I can't find a trace of him in the statewide system. It's like he vanished into thin air. I've reached out to colleagues, searched high and low, but nothing. I wonder if Gregory's relentless calls have something to do with his brother's situation. Is he trying to divert attention away from it? Um, or is it just a bizarre coincidence? I can't shake off this feeling that there's more to the story than meets the eye. In the midst of all these annoyances, I find solace in my office plant and these darn walnuts. Sometimes as I crack open another shell, I confide in my leafy companion, hoping for some clarity or a stroke of luck. It may sound silly, but there's a strange comfort in sharing my thoughts with this green friend. But enough is enough. I won't let prank calls or my walnut addiction distract me from running a successful bail bonds business on West Mission Boulevard. I'll keep searching for answers and work towards putting an end to this nonsense. Gregory Stevens may think he's clever, but I'm determined to rise above his childish games and restore peace to my professional life.